Hello. Hello. Sure. It's a me you're looking for. <laughs> All this. Yeah, that who, Lionel Richie. Yes. I can see it in you. I like Lionel Richie. His music is good. Yes. Leo Sayer did the same. Leo Sayer, yeah, he's good. Mm -hmm. It's true, he's good. Hold on, give me one second here. Let me pull up the... Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. Okay, hold on. Let me check one thing, please. Okay, I'm pulling up. Hold on, let me see the textbook. Okay, so how is everybody today? How was your Wednesday? Little tired. Why? Oof, a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah. What did you do today? Oof, we are trying to put some chains to prepare according the new the new um i don't know if how you say ante proyecto the new project the new project to unify uh, do it and need oh is is that valid now no what what excuse me is that valid now uh no no. When when will it be valid? The next Tuesday or yeah, Tuesday. Oh, okay. But it will it will be validated. A a day because need publish in the official it press. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I I think that's a very good in my opinion, I think it's a good idea. Yes. Mm, yes, but well, the, the idea is good, but but the 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 form in what will be applicated mm, is a little confused. Oh, okay, but in this case, because it's what you do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, I understand. For you, it might be the process. The change might be difficult. But yes. I think I think for the user of need oh, and okay. doings, for the user it's, it's excellent. But yeah. I need five dollars. 
yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. And I never understand why the need is very big. Nunca cabe en la. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It was always big, so yeah, so it's good. Uh, da, da, da. So everybody's here today. Everybody's here today. More people are here today. So remember, what did we do yesterday? Infinitives and gerunds. And gerunds. What is the difference between infinitives and gerunds? Do you remember? They are the same concept. They are the same concept. But which is more formal? Infinitive. 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 Which is more popular? Gerund. Yeah. Gerund. Gerund. But remember, you can always, the two are okay. All right, so let me share the screen. Okay, so let's do the knowledge check. Satellites are used to study the world's weather, to studying the world's weather, or for study the world's weather? Study, the, study world's the world's weather. The first one. To study. Yes. Robots are sometimes used to perform dangerous tasks, to performing dangerous tasks, for performing dangerous tasks. The last one. The last one. For performing dangerous tasks. Yes, for performing. Very good. You can use a cell phone sending text message to send text messages, send text messages. The second one. The second one. To send text messages. People use the internet for making travel reservations, to make travel reservations, or making travel reservations. For first making one. travel. First one. DNA fingerprinting is used to identify criminals, for identify criminals, to identify criminals. The first one. The first one. Saben que el DNA creo, creo que se descubrió en los noventas. El estudio de, o a finales de los ochentas. Imagínense cuántas cosas se hubieran solventado antes. Yeah. Ya, yeah, porque cuando una mujer antes decía, es un ejemplo, ese hombre me violó. Era de palabra. De, o quién tenía el mejor abogado. O él o, o ella. Yes. Y, y con el DNA, nice. CD roams are used storing an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, I'm sorry. For story, for stores an encyclopedia, for storing an encyclopedia. For storing an encyclopedia. Qué tan viejo es este, este examen, ya nadie usa eso. ¿Cómo se llamaba <laughs> esa encyclopedia? En carta, remember? En carta era. Exactly. Well, actually, CD rooms are used. What, what are CD rooms used for? Or record record music. Okay, so I would say CD ROMs are used for playing or recording files. Yes. Because it's not only music, you can listen to movies, you can watch movies, que son archivos, right? 
So CD-ROMs, video games. video games, yes. So CD-ROMs are used for storing files. Okay, now, lesson objective. Participants will notice and practice the stress words with more than two syllables. So let's listen to the stress words. Wow. Pronunciation. Can you hear? Syllable stress. Yes. Part yes. A. Yes. Listen yes, and sure. practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages. Telephone. Transmission. Robotics, understand, VCR. Teacher, don't listen. Robotics, understand. Sorry. Okay, I'm saying that stress really. Tildes. Pero acento. El acento, yes. So languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand VCR. <laughs> Do you remember what is a VCR? V Con cassette, no. Yeah, VHS. Yeah. Do you remember the VCRs? It's a reproductor. Yes, it's a video cassette recorder. Yes. Like Betamax. Uh... Oh man, Betamax, Betamax was before. A big, a big, a big box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are those are collectibles now. <laughs> okay, let me see now. Come on, open, open, open. So, okay, so next it says here in this session, you will practice a conversation about using a cell phone. See the imperatives and infinitives for given suggestions in context. So let's listen to this. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is...
This is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Honestly, I don't understand what the grammar point here is. But it's okay, we'll practice it, we'll do it. Today we're going to learn something very interesting. Okay. What is borrow? To pay someone Prestar. the things, Prestar. the permission. Borrow? Prestar. What? Prestar? Money. <laughs> Fíjense que, ¿qué entienden ustedes si yo digo? Man, yo, yo estoy teniendo problemas con mi esposa porque yo siempre ando prestando dinero. ¿Qué entienden? Cuando te piden prestado. Ah, o estoy dando o estoy pidiendo. Correcto. Ahí mm -hmm. está pidiendo prestado. Ok. Yes. Lend and borrow. Lend es dar. To give. To uh -huh. give. I lend you five dollars. Borrow is receive. Y en español sí es bien difícil porque lo, lo, una, prestar significa los dos. Entonces está en el, en el tono de voz que alguien lo dice. Es que yo siempre ando prestando dinero. Hmm. ¿Cómo? <laughs> But in English, it's impossible. Like because in English, I say, I I have problems with my wife because I am always lending money. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, so I'm giving money. Or I have problems with my wife because I am always borrowing money. You understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes teacher. Yes, so, teacher. Okay, Gustavo Coreas. Yeah. The bank lends money or borrows money? Lend what but the both, I think. Why? Because when you make a deposit for long time, it's like you are lending to the bank some money. Man, you're very okay. technical. <laughs> That's very <laughs> technical. No, no, but uh, in, I'm just basic, basic. Okay. The, the, the bank, what does the bank do? They borrow money or they lend money? They lend money. Very good, yeah, they lend money. <laughs> Y a mí me va a dar una gran explicación, depende, porque <risa> si yo estoy pagando y pago a capital, el banco está recibiendo. Oh, no, come on. <risa> yes, don't be so, no, ok. Um, so, I need money, I need to borrow from the bank or lend the bank. Borrow. I need to borrow. Alba, pídame prestado cinco dólares. Um, can I borrow five dollars? Okay. Ten dollars. <laughs> okay, very good. But listen to what she said. Can I borrow? 
ten dollars. Y si va a usar lend, ¿cómo sería? Lend me. Ahí va. Uh -huh. um, hey, teacher, I will lend you ten dollars. Uh -uh. No. Pídame prestado diez dólares, pero usando lend. Um, can you lend me ten dollars? Very good. Miren cómo cambia el I y el you. If I receive, if borrow, I receive. So can I borrow $10? Or can you lend me $10? Okay. Very good. I really recommend you to practice this. Esto sí le cuesta mucha gente, incluso los avanzados, toic. <laughs> Por el hecho que en español solo una cosa significa. <laughs> Siempre, espérame, ¿qué es? Lendo paro, lendo paro, lendo paro. Ok, ¿do you have any questions? No, teacher. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, Melissa. Entonces, si yo le pido a usted, es, ¿can I borrow $10? Yes. To you. Hasta ahí termina la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, 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 lo, no tiene otro sujeto, solamente yo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y se entiende porque está hablando conmigo, entonces. No es necesario decir, can I borrow $10 from you? Oh, ajá. For you. From. From. Ok. Ok. Or can I, um, can you lend me? Okay, teacher. Teacher, one, one more question. Yes. Uh, lend and borrow solo se usa para dinero o u otras cosas? No. No, eh, cualquier eh, cell phone, um, clothes, car. Wow, well, okay. Yes. Cualquier cosa que se puede prestar. Hey, can I borrow your house? No, you're crazy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's continue then. So listen, al final de esta clase entenderán cómo usar los imperativos e infinitivos para seguir, sugerir. Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. 
moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Don't forget to think it. No, listen, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Um, be sure to. What is be sure to? <laughs> Make sure to. Don't forget. No, when you stand above me, <laughs> look my way. Remember that song? 80s. Remember two and try two. Okay, so um, Miguel Garcia, I'm going to give you an example and please. Give me a suggestion with be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember to, and try to. Uh -huh. um, be sure. No, no, to... wait. I'm going to give you an example and you give me a suggestion, okay? Listen, I'm going to give you an example. Miguel, tomorrow I am going to go get my solvencia. In, um, I, um, I say the uh, using the the be sure to or oh, be sure make make sure don't forget remember try to whatever in my case. So listen, my example is tomorrow I'm going to get my solvencia. Please give me a suggestion. Okay, yesterday uh, I... Hold on, listen. Tomorrow I am going to get my solvencia. Remember to take your Dewey. Don't forget to take your Dewey. Correct? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, uh, I study... Uh, intermediate English. Excuse me. Uh, um, I try to pronounce English very good. No, 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 no. Look, I give you an example, mm -hmm. and you give me a suggestion. Lo que estamos haciendo hoy son sugerencias. Uh -huh. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember to. Try to. Yo mañana no voy a sacar mi solvencia. Es un ejemplo. So, I say, Miguel, tomorrow I am going to get my solvencia. Okay. Uh, Mr. Try to give me a lesson tomorrow. Okay. It's good. Mm, no sé qué tiene que ver eso con la solvencia. No, oh, no, it's, uh, it's other. Ok, si yo le diría a alguien, hey, mañana voy a sacar la solvencia, ¿qué me dirían? Hey, no se olvide llevar el, el, 
lo que hay que imprimir. A la cita. Llegué temprano. Ok, y no se olviden llegar temprano, mm -hmm. no se olviden llegar a la hora. You know, o sea, be sure, bien. make, oh. yeah. yes, yeah, Re remember, arrive early. make sure to arrive early, yes, remember, make sure it uh, has a stamp, oh, make sure to get the stamp, yes, um, remember, remember to pay, remember to take money, because it's three dollars, I think. It's three dollars, no? Yes. Okay. So you understand now, Miguel? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Gustavo. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to visit my girlfriend in La Campanera. Oh, make sure. Bring with you your weapon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, asegúrate de dejar un testimonio. Un testimonio. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, Carmen, Lisette, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Tomorrow, I am going to buy avocados for dinner. So tomorrow I'm going to buy avocados in the supermarket for dinner. Okay, don't forget to ask for the price. Okay, good. O cual otra, porque imagínense, y si están muy, muy duros o algo así. Make sure to, to touch before. Touch them, oh, okay. Before the, the, the to buy it. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, because I'm going to buy them tomorrow for dinner. Oh, okay. All right, good. Thank you. Mr. Hoyu, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. I'm going to go to La Ruta de los Flores. De las Flores. Okay. okay. Uh... Remember, remember to, to llevar, como digo llevar, teacher? To, to take. Okay, remember to take your camera, your camera for, uh, for your pics. Very good. Very good. All right, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. So that's, you just give us suggestions. Very good. Um, if you see this one, like, for example, Hey, if you go to a taco, be sure to eat breakfast in, in Jardín Celeste, no. Jardín Celeste, no? Yes. Jardín Celeste. Yes, okay. So, hey, if you go to a taco or Guayua, be sure to eat breakfast in Jardín Celeste. It's excellent. A good food. Yes, it's good. Como... Turistas, le dicen otros turistas allá. If you go to El Salvador, be sure to eat pollo campero and pupusas. Yes, and drink Pilsner. <laughs> yes. Um, tomorrow I have a reunion with my son's teacher. Dice mi esposa. Remember to ask her for the homework. Okay, so those are suggestions. Don't forget to remember to try to guess. Try to. Intentar. Intentar. Probar. Yes. Um. Maribel. 
I, I have a problem. Imagine what's, my teeth are very yellow. Maribel, I have a problem. My teeth are very yellow. Um, I'm sorry, entienden I, lo que estamos haciendo, clase? O entienden yes. a, a, a lo que voy? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, teacher, I understand. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, um, make may sure sure to um, como se dice echar a la basura. Throw away. Throw away. Uh, el, el cigarrillo. The cigarette. Yes. But that's not the problem. My teeth is yellow. That's the problem. Renato? Try. Hi, teacher. Yes, try. Renato, I have a problem. My teeth are yellow. You try to um, uh, you try to uh, dejar de fumar. Stop smoking. Stop smoking. Stop. Stop smoking. Okay, very good. So tell me, try to stop smoking. Repeat. Okay. You true True to stop smoking. You should try to. You try to. Okay. Uh, you stop smoking. Very good. And go to the dentist. And go to the dentist, yes. <laughs> you think cigarettes is the problem? Yes, I think. Yes, oh, okay, for good. yes, for me, yes. And the okay. coffee too. Yeah. And tea. And, and candy. And soda. And <laughs> everything. Everything. No, but it's cigarettes really, um, Parecen que todos los europeos tienen dentadura bien fea. Y mal aliento, ¿cómo se dice? Bad breath. Bad breath. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, very good. Thank you, Renato. Thank you, Maribel. Yes, you should try, you should try stop smoking. Norma. Hi. Hi. I have a very big problem, Norma. Okay. Uh -huh. What is your problem? Thank you. <laughs> um, I can't sleep at night. Ah, try to stop drink a coffee. Oh no, I can't. It's impossible for me to <laughs> stop drinking oh, coffee. No. I oh, love coffee. No, try to um, drink coffee um, around 4 p.m. Oh, okay. So you think maybe coffee is the problem? Yes, for me, it's problem. Oh, okay, drink thank coffee you. In the night. Oh, okay, thank you. So I will try to stop drink coffee. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Norma. But in vida real, eso no me afecta. <laughs> okay. I, I drink coffee and then... Because coffee has no effect on me. I drink coffee since I was four. Make sure to take a diazepam. Oh, diazepam, yes. <laughs> diazepam with Coca-Cola. <laughs> You get, <laughs> you get knocked out. Hmm. Oh, there's Edis. Edis is in front of her house.
Hello, Iris. ¿Quién está atrás de usted, Iris? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Mentiras. Okay, so you understand when you give a suggestion? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um, Gustavo, what can you recommend the class if they go to San Miguel? Um, remember to wear um, how do you say delgado thin, thinner mm -hmm. thin clothes okay good yes why because it's little hotter little Little. <laughs> uh, Carmen, Lisette, you travel, have you traveled to Europe? No. Sorry, sorry. What countries have you visited? Well, I visit, visited the visited, uh, United States, Peru, Colombia, Central America. I have Chile. a question. In Colombia, people are beautiful. Cuba too. In Cuba is the most beautiful people. Men and women. Men and women. Yes. I have a friend, my friend, he got married. And for the honeymoon, he goes to Colombia. Mm -hmm. And he had big problems with his wife. Not everybody is beautiful. Not no, no, really. no, but he told me that in Colombia, like women, andan casi semi de nudas in the beach. Yes, yes, and in the labor time too, because maybe she use a, she use a, a little skirt, for example. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my, 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 yeah, my friend had a problem because he says we were in the beach and all the women were like in sh little, little bikinis. And, and his wife, very angry. You're imbecile. So, how se te ocurre ir a Luna de Miel? Go to yes. Brazil. Yes, uh, they don't have uh, a, a, a big problem with this. With chose her bodies. Okay. So, listen, what can you recommend the class if we go to Cuba? Well, uh, make sure to eat the traditional food and visit it, the Malecon. I'm Malecon, yes. All right, good. My favorite food is ropa vieja. This is one of of one of food of Cuba. Ropa vieja. Ropa vieja se llama. Uh -huh. yes. Es como carne, es como carne deshilada con arroz, frijoles así sancochados. Es Pork. bien común. Oh, really? Uh -huh. The Cubans eat pork like the Salvadorian eat um, chicken, yes. for example. Oh, really? Pork. Mm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Miguel Garcia, you are from Santa Ana, right? Yes. What do you recommend people if we go to Santa Ana? Mm -hmm. Visit where? Where, do you, where should we go? Where should we eat? I recommend uh, the... Be sure the, to go... The church, the cathedral. Okay, but, but you be sure to visit the cathedral. Uh, yes. Uh, and um, be the, sure, be sure, uh, be sure, uh, visit uh, to visit um, ter, ter, uh, um city hall. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Mire, como cuando uno va a la playa y regresa, que la gente siempre dice, hey, cuando regresa de la playa, 
Acordate de pasar por las quesadillas. ¿Cómo se llama ese lugar? En la libertad. Fogata, la fogata, ¿no? Pero en la libertad es, ¿o no? Yeah, when, when you come from Surf City, uh -huh. when you come from Surf City, las famosas quesadillas. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, everybody says that, hey, if you go to the beach, remember to, uh, when you come back, remember to stop and buy quesadillas. Las han probado, ¿no? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Fogata, la leña, something like that. I forgot the name. I don't remember that. Es que nadie sabe el nombre, solo sabe las quesadillas. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see the next example then. Knowledge check instructions. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Laptop. That's one. Laptop computer, try to keep it close to protect the screen. Um, don't forget to write down your secret code. Alarm system. Alarm system. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm system. Alarm, Alarm system. system. You know, don't forget to write down the secret code. It can be alarm or cell phone or laptop. Cell phone. Actually, the three are correct because you need a secret password for the three. Pero, try cell phone? Alarm system. Maybe alarm. Alarm system. alarm system. Because if you don't do it, you, you don't get into your house. Anymore. You can't get in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. <laughs> They're all correct, actually. Technically, <laughs> technically, they all can be correct. Make sure to see it each time you leave home. Alarm system. Alarm system. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. This is stupid because the three are correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, but cell phone, cell phone, maybe. Yeah, but okay. Be sure mm -hmm. to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up. No, this is obviously yeah, itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, escribir. We all passed. Okay, let me see what's next here. It says, lesson objective. In this class, you will need an article about technology. In the future, develop skills, identifying paragraphs, topics, and reading the specific information. So what is the grammar? Okay, let's see what the grammar will be. Hold on, we have nine minutes. We can do this tomorrow. Let me see one thing. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a problem with the next section because um, the, the 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 element is not not in the platform. I don't know why it, it not appear. Okay, maybe in this, sometimes, sometimes, oh wow, the majority of the time, the platform doesn't work. 
-hmm. So uh, maybe try tomorrow again. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's the, it's the platform. Okay, if it doesn't, please tell me. Okay, with a screenshot. Yes. So it didn't appear, okay. Okay, so listen. Should and must. What is should and must? Should is for recommendation. Well, they are model. Model. Okay. Young yeah. oído should and must, right? Yes. Yes. What is the difference? Yes. Should is for recommendation and must is for sugerencia. So it's like an advice, um, advice. Yeah, it's like Miguel Garcia. He says, if you go to Santana, you should go to uh, City Hall or you should go to church. Gustavo Correa said, if you go to San Miguel, you should take short clothes. Yes, yeah. or if I go to La Campanera, I should take, no, I, I guess I must take you a gun. must. <laughs> okay, look, this is the difference. So la voy a decir la más fácil. Las dos son lo mismo, okay? The difference is que must es legal. Puedo, for example, to vote, to vote in El Salvador, I should have a Dewey or I must have a Dewey? You must have must. a Dewey. Must. You must. must have a Dewey. Yeah. Ahí sí, the difference is very big. I know, hey, you should, y si no tengo, porque si no dice you should, debería de tener. Ah, o sea que debería, pues, si no tengo, no hay problema. No. Entonces es, you must have a Dewey. Debes It's tener. like obligation. Yes, but it's, um, it's legal. Si yo les pregunto en español, ¿qué es la diferencia? Debería, si debes de. Debes de. Es legal. Ok, for example. Voy a seguir con esto de la. ¿Qué es lo que iba a sacar mañana? Solvencia. Ah, creo que voy a ir mañana. Oye, lo que estoy diciendo, creo que voy a ir mañana. ¿Qué me dicen? No, no, no es así de fácil. You must make an appointment. Uh -huh. You must. Yes. No es que puedo llegar yo, hey, quiero mi. No. You must make an appointment before, correct? Or you should? Must. You must. You must. Okay. Um, No, a Gustavo, so ya no están dando needs. <laughs> yes, actually. Oh, really? They are giving, yes. Still? Yes, still. Hey, quiero ya sacar el mío, el último, por melancolía. Yes. Que mío está todo bien. Feo. <laughs> okay, so I should go, maybe. Huh? You should go. Yeah. You see, that's not, a, that's not an obligation. Yes, you not should. an obligation. Mm -hmm. But actually, in maybe in 20 days, it's not will be obligation, but 
until now, if you want to make some tramit, you must um, have the need. Have the need, yeah. Okay. Right now. Right now, yeah. Okay, good. Um, Daniel, uh, Dan, Mr. Dan, the seat belt in my car. I must use the seatbelt or I should use the seatbelt? You must. Yes, because it's a legal obligation. So do you understand the difference between should and must? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Yes. yes. Ahora, número dos. A la hora de aconsejar. Should. Puedo decir you should y puedo decir you must. Pero cuando ustedes digan you must, debe ser una autoridad. ¿Qué es autoridad? Your mother, your father, your doctor, the police. Your boss. Your teacher, your boss. Okay. Your supervisor. Your yes. wife. <laughs> no, eso iba a decir... Es decir, mujeres que, mujeres que es autoridad, your husband, you know, you might comment this. So, listen. Ahora, si es un igual, mi compañero de trabajo me puede decir, hey, tomorrow, you should come in a tie de corbata. Pero el supervisor, va a decir, Tomorrow, everybody must come in black, in blue, in red. Yes? Y aunque, yes. Ahora, esto no es legal. O sea, no, o sea, must tiene dos significados. Un tono legal, legal de ley, o una autoridad. The doctor. You must stop smoking. Yes. Because por algo me lo está diciendo, doctor. Doctor, I'm doctor. Hi. Que tiene no, I'm okay. I'm okay in the doctor's case. David, you must stop smoking. Yes. Remember your mother and your father. Mama, voy a salir. <laughs> you must be here at 10 or don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? You must be here at 10 or don't come back. Like, imagínese si su hermanito le decía eso. ¿Qué le hubieran dicho? Like, oops. No, that is. Imagine your little brother. Hey, you must be here at 10. No. But, but if your mother, yeah, you must be, okay. Man. So that's the difference between should and must. The two are a recommendation or the two, but must is an obligation, legal or from an authority. O una, 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 bueno, es que, también, es que se dice legal porque también hay leyes internas, como todos tenemos leyes adentro de nuestras empresas, ¿no? Por ejemplo, cada quien tiene, por ejemplo, no deben de tener celular en el escritorio. Por ejemplo, you must not have a cell phone and, or you must, and no sé, los que trabajan en banco, you must dress formal. Yes, yo nunca he visto a alguien en un banco trabajar en, en camiseta. So, so, son reglas establecidas. Hay reglas en trabajos, en sus casas. Instituciones, iglesias, everything, todo tiene reglas. In the supermarket, yes or no, you must use a mask. Hey, es una pregunta, ¿verdad que no es ley obligatoria usar mascarilla aún en El Salvador? Oh, no. 
O sea, ya sé la importancia de usarla, hay que usarla, ya, pero ¿es una ley obligatoria? No, ¿verdad? No, no. Ah, ok. O sea, nadie, un ejemplo tonto, si yo voy a Super Selecto si, y me dicen que la use y yo digo que no, y me echan, no pueden, ¿verdad? Sí, pueden. ¿Ya? Yes. Sí, porque son leyes internas. Bueno, okay. Bueno, suerte que eso aquí no se da en Estados Unidos y Europa. Créanme cómo se da eso. Gente se no. You can't tell me. No, yes, yes, no. You can't obligate me. Aquí no somos bien educados. Man. All right. Um, Giovanni. Yeah. To go to a bar. How old must I be? Um, in this case, um, 18 years old. I must be 18? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, good. To be in, what's the difference between 18 and, and 18 is mayor de 21 is adulto, right? Or no? I don't know. Alba. Yes, teacher. To go to the United States, what do what must I have? You must have visa. A visa, good. Yes, to go to the United States legally. <laughs> yeah. L legally. <laughs> yes. I must have a visa. Right? I wish I have a visa. <laughs> mm -hmm. En algunos trabajos le dicen, ok, mire, está, me gusta su perfil y todo. Um, está dispuesto because you must take a drug exam, a drug test. Y no dice yes, no, yes, no. Ok, so that is the difference between should and must, ok. Vamos a practicar eso mañana un poco más. Les voy a dar más ejemplos como lo que les estaba dando hoy. Y ustedes lo van a decir. Y, y podemos usar más, más también como en un énfasis, como, como, por ejemplo, eso de eh, que le estamos diciendo a, a Daniel Huayua. Hey, if you go to Huayua, you must stop en in, in Jardín eh, Celeste. Jardín de Celeste. Yes, you must. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, you like rock music? Oh, man, you must listen to the Rolling Stones. Me gusta ir a ver tocar bandas. Oh, man, you must listen. You must go to La Vieja Fiebre. They're good. O sea, pero... Obviamente no es una obligación legal, pero uno solo está como, oh, man. You like pizza? Oh, man, you must go to la clásica. Si alguien está allá, oh, I'm going to visit El Salvador. Oh, man, you like chicken? Yes, you must go to Pollo Campero. De verdad, a todos los gringos les gusta el Pollo Campero. Es que allá fried chicken es una gran cosa, man. El, el pollo frito. If you go to... Ok. ¿Quién me dice algo? Voy a ir a... Tomorrow... I'm going to go to the airport and come back. You, you, must, must, you must be sitting... O lo cuenta. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, if you go to the airport, you must stop and eat pupusas in Olocuilta, right? It's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's an obligation. <laughs> people that come or people that go. You must say to me. Yes. Okay, class, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.